going to be another warm one today. Yeah, I mean, you went to UCLA, 111 degrees yesterday. Oh, the hottest they've ever yeah. had. Well, then Hills 117. That's where I grew up. I mean, I cannot imagine how uncomfortable that would yeah, be. Hot. Just ditch class, go see a movie. Yeah, I guess <laughs> air conditioning. So. Air conditioning. Go to the mall wherever it takes. But yes, it's going to be hot here. But I guess we have no room to complain because it's not as hot as what they're dealing with across Southern California. Let's show you our views right now. This is just a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous start to your Tuesday morning. Our Salesforce Tower camera towards the north, and you can get a great shot of Golden Gate Bridge today. Uh, it's kind of one of those days I have a feeling a lot of photographers will be out and about uh, just getting our uh, views all across the Bay Area. This would be the Lawrence Hall of Science camera over at UC Berkeley and no cloud coverage at all. This is not normal for summer. Of course, we're used to that morning marine layer, cloudy skies across the Bay, but that is not the case. Nice sun shining right there on Salesforce Tower this morning and temperatures did not get that cool in Concord. You stayed in the 60s uh, this morning. Yesterday, you reached 96 degrees in Concord. So, of course, that didn't allow those temperatures to drop by much. 57 right now in San Francisco, San Jose, 63. Here's a look at your forecast. So, look at the difference. Along the coast, low 60s, 30 degrees warmer for inland spots. So, of course, around the bay, temperatures pretty comfortable. It will also be breezy right around the water as well. So, that's what's contributing to keeping these numbers pretty low. 90 in Campbell, 96 in Morgan Hill. You're not affected by the onshore breeze across the East Bay. 90 degrees in San Ramon and Dublin and Benicia 96 in Fairfield. So yes, that's where you do want to crank up that air conditioning. Sausalito, not bad at 72, 74 in Alameda. Certainly though above average by about 5 to 10 degrees for many of our locations. The more north you go, it will feel hot as well. Futurecast showing the winds are going to start to get uh, breezier just like yesterday around 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. That afternoon commute may be a little bit gusty, especially if you're anywhere along the North Bay or by the coastline. That's where those winds will pick up. So what does that mean? Uh, the game tonight at 715. It's going to be a little gusty, but look at this view at AT&T Park, our Salesforce Tower camera giving us a great view of baseball weather. Hopefully the sunshine is great luck for our Giants. Breezy and clear, 66 degrees for that first pitch. And then uh, here's what we're looking at. There is a low to the north. It's this ridge of high pressure, though. They're kind of battling things out, and that's what's contributing to that west wind coming through. This low is also not allowing that ridge to bring in the thunderstorm activity. That's what Southern California is facing now today they're dealing with lightning strikes already there but what we're going to start to see is that ridge is going to bring us humidity more cloud coverage but not until Thursday Friday that's when it'll really start to feel muggy temperatures will drop slowly into the weekend so the weekend is looking a little bit more comfortable for us Jacqueline